Hi, for this tutorial we're going to take a look at how to use Google Analytics. Google Analytics is so important to understand what kind of impact your site is having on people and that includes how many people are reading it, even where they're coming from, including if they're looking for you through a search engine or coming to you directly or if they're being referred from another site. And this really allows you to see when you make changes to your site what is working and what isn't. So let's go ahead and take a look. We're going to break down Google Analytics to help you get a little better of an understanding. Now I know that this can look a little bit intimidating, but it actually is very, very simple to use. And once you learn how to look for information that you need and how to apply it, then you're going to find that this is a fantastic tool. So what we're going to do first is just look at our Home tab. And this shows, first of all, my dashboard. Right now, I've got these widgets that come up automatically when I open a Google Analytics account. That includes how many visits, the average visit duration, the goal conversion rate, visits by traffic type, visits and page views, visits and average visit duration, goal completions, automatic alerts if you'd like to set some, and if you want to add more, you can click up here on Add Widget, and this will allow you to add metrics, pie charts, timelines, tables, allows you to name them, link them to a report, and pretty much anything else you would need. So let's take a look at our standard reporting. Now you can see right now it sh doesn't show that I've had any visitors to my site, but that's because I just opened this analytics account a few minutes ago. It is a day behind for your results. So say if you want to see how many people visited today, you would take a look tomorrow. It allows you to look at everything from the day, the last week, the month, it allows you to choose whether you want a line chart or a bubble chart. It allows you to set colors and sizes, and all of this is just to make it easier for you to read the information. If you have e-commerce set up on your site, you can track that as well. Underneath, if you scroll down, you'll see that it shows how many visits, how much revenue you made, how many transactions, the average value of each one, e-commerce conversions, and per, vision, per visit value. Underneath, it'll give you information about where the people are visiting your site from. If you click on the left, you'll see you have an audience tab, and when you open that up, it gives you an overview, including how many people came to your site, how many pages they visited, how long they stayed, your bounce rate, which is how many times people got to your page, realized immediately that that's not what they were looking for, and they left, and the percentage of new visits. You can also look at demographics, the systems that they're using, if they're using mobiles, and the languages they speak. If you click through here, you'll see that you can look at demographics so you see where your customers are coming from, what language they speak, their behavior, including new versus returning, how often they've returned, and how recently that was, engagements, what technology they're using, browsers and networks, if they're using mobiles, an overview of that, and the devices that they're using. You can set custom variables that are user defined and you can do that by clicking on select a metric and you can set those up by coming down here you can go into custom variables and you can decide what you want your variables to be and you would do that by say clicking on custom variable 2 you can also look at visitors flow and I haven't had anyone yet, but when it does come up, it's a flow chart. You can look into advertising if you have AdWords accounts, which I don't, but if you did, you would be able to use this part of that service. Traffic sources, including an overview of where everyone is coming from. That can involve search engines, direct traffic, and referrals from other pages. Search engine optimization that lets you see what people are searching for when they find your page, and that helps you set up your own keywords landing pages, a geographical summary. If you've got social plugins, including Facebook, LinkedIn, etc., this will give you an overview of those. And then we get into content. This will show you what your site's content is and what people are looking at on those pages. Your site speed, overview, page timings, etc. Site search, if people are doing a search on your site, what they're looking for, what terms they're using, and how many pages they're finding by doing those searches. Events, you can set up events. Say for instance, if you have an e-commerce site and you're going to have a big weekend sale, you can set up your events to track how many more people come to your site. 
AdSense if you've decided to use AdSense this gives you an overview any experiments that you feel like running and you can go into here into experiments and this gives you an idea on how to run experiments in page analytics and this is once you have put your widget for Google Analytics or your code into your page this will show you the insight analysis and then at the very bottom conversions now for the goals you can set your conversion goals that you want to do and to do that you would click on set up goals and let's go ahead and click on goal number one and we're going to call this RSS feed and this can be so if they decide to become an RSS feed member so they always see our RSS feeds we can go ahead and set that up and the goal type is a URL destination and the goal page for this let's say would be RSS backslash blog RSS feed dot HTML you can put exact match a head match which is the heading or a regular expression match you can make it case sensitive and you can do a goal value you can also use a goal funnel which is a series of pages that will lead them up to your goal destination which is the RSS feed HTML page this can include steps in your checkout process that take you through the buying into your shopping cart through the payment method all the way to the thank you page which is the goal if you want to use that click on save if not click on cancel once you have your goals set up it's going to show you your goal flow and that's going to show you how many times your goal has been met and you can track how many people will actually go to your RSS feed for instance so that's our standard reporting we also have the custom reporting page and this allows you to set up custom reports you can choose metric groups and if you click on the add metric box it'll allow you to choose say traffic sources conversions and it'll give you all of these different subtitles or subheadings and if you want to search for one just put it in your search box and hit the magnifying glass once you've named it set up your metric you can just add the metric group you can also add a filter that in, let's say that you want to see everyone who visits your e-commerce site from the United States but you don't want to see them from outside the country because you can't send anything outside the country you could go in and choose traffic sources you could go in and choose so it would disclude anyone who's not from the United States you can also click under profiles this is our current profile but we can add additional ones as well and again once you're done click on save if you click over here on the name of your site it'll it will bring up all of the accounts that you have Google Analytics accounts with and right now I just have the one for WordPress tutorial hub and you can click on home now over here you'll see on the home page that you can do a real time and this will show you how many people are visiting your site right now as well as how many page views they're seeing their site speed where they're from and other information so that's pretty cool you can also look up their traffic sources so that's where they came from and this was a referral and their content you can set up intelligence events and intelligent events allow you to set up custom alerts say if you get a hundred people shopping in one day at your site you can set it up so it will automatically send you an email you can also go into dashboards and you can create a new dashboard it will let you either start one blank or it'll let you do a starter dashboard that will bring up all of the standard things that you would need for this and then you could arrange it according to what works best for you and once you title it you can click create dashboard or cancel out so you should really check your analytics page at least once a day so you can make sure that any changes that you're making are having the desired effect for instance if you add a new option to your site and you want to see if it's working you want to go into your dashboard and see if more people are coming to your site after you've implemented that change so that's a quick overview of how to use Google Analytics I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and it made it seem a little easier for you thanks for listening and I will see you next time